PFF with brand new three round mock. Let's do some mock talk. All right, welcome back to One Bar and Lepica Show. I'm One Bar, less than four weeks away till the big day. I already got draft butterflies, and I cannot freaking wait. Michael Renner from PFF just dropped a three-round mock, which means we will see at least two Vikings picks. Um, sounds like there is a handful of trades in this. We'll see if the Vikings are part of that. Um, but let's just take it in. I haven't looked at any of this yet. And, uh, yeah, we will be surprised. Hopefully the Vikings get some damn good players Comments, as always, let me know what you think. How did Michael Renner do? Renner is one of my favorite draft gurus. I'd say he's probably top six. So the fact that he put one out, we're going to look at it. Hit that sub button. Let's get 10,000 subs. Also, it is the One Bar and Lepagus show's birthday today. Three years today since our first sub subscriber. Appreciate everybody. Let's do this. Hopefully for our birthday, we get uh, a steal. Joey Parter in round one. But knowing Michael Renner, I don't think that's going to happen. Let's go. We're going to fly. We're not fly, but we're going to go pretty fast for these picks. So he's got Stroud, Young. No surprises. Richardson, Jalen Carter, uh, Tyree Wilson. Will Levis is still on the board. Uh, Christian Gonzalez, the Ra Raiders passing on Levis. All right. It seems like a lot of people think Raiders are definitely going to take Levis. Lucas Van Ness. Um, all right. Levis is still. Titans even passing on Levis. All right. It's getting interesting. Vikings. Will they get their quarterback? But right now, not a single damn surprise, really. Nothing. Steelers getting up there, getting their offensive linemen. Like it. Can't see. That hurts. Uh, but the more you see, the more we get closer to draft day. It sounds like can't see could damn near be a lock for a top 12 pick. So 13 is even a steal. I'm starting to I'm starting to get distance myself from, from can't see because I wanted him so bad. But I need to start realizing that there's probably a good chance he's not there. Smith and Jigba going at 14 to the Seahawks. Uh, another Viking target. So Nolan Smith is gone to the Packers. I don't like that. Uh, Joey Porter, gone. Dream is dead. Witherspoon, hanging around there for a while. We'll toy with our emotions, but he is gone. Quentin Johnson, gone. The Vikings brought him in for a top 30 visit. Will McDonald, it's a little bit of a surprise. I'll take that. I'll take him going, hopefully pushing somebody back. So, so far, Jordan Addison is on the board. Will Levis is still on the board. Brian Brissy is still on the board. Um... John Robinson, like that, pushing somebody down. Will Levis, where is it? Chargers, Kincaid, I like that. Will the Ravens take Will Levis thinking that maybe they're not going to have Lamar Jackson? I can't see it. Wow, Ram oh, shit, I just spoiled the Vikings pick. <laughs> Levis gone. Rams straight up and get him. Can you imagine if Will Levis is still on the board at 22? Vikings fans will be crapping themselves, either being excited to get Levis or the complete opposite, wanting nothing to do with him. But the Rams nab him in front of the Vikings, probably because the Vikings would have taken him. I already spoiled the Vikings pick, and it's Jordan Addison. Um, again, and, uh, he's becoming a hot name lately for the Vikings, but it's been a lot of Deontay Banks, but I'm seeing Addison, 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 and uh, I, we've said it a million times. I, I think it might be a little bit of a, a, a tiny, tiny reach, um, but seeing who's gone and seeing who's off the board, I would be, I would love this. It's not like we're passing on somebody that we just absolutely have to have. But see, people either love him or hate him. Um, I would have been fine with that pick as well. But the way this is shaking out, I would take Jordan Addison. Putting him aside, uh, Jefferson would just be amazing. Amazing. TJ Hawkinson, holy shit. So Washington gone. Forbes, uh, another guy the Vikings like. So let's just go. Brissy going to the Bills. Harrison Smith, okay. Zay Flowers lasts until 30. Miles Murphy. All right, so round two, barring a trade, the Vikings will not pick, but let's just cruise through these quick. Uh, so Brian Branch, Gonzo at 33. Drew Sanders, we'll probably see a linebacker run here. Um, round two is going to be hot and heavy. Deontay Banks, gone. God, I'm going to be terrified when the Vikings are on the board and he's out there. Uh, Adebaware, Panthers, Hyatt, gone. All right, John Michael Schmitz. Gophers fans crying in their beers. Packers trading up and taking Hendon Hooker. I don't know how to feel about that. I kind of like it. Uh, wow. All right. So Packers back to back, and then they get their tight end. Cody Mock going to the Falcons. Julius Brents, we love him. Steve Avila, gone. Lions, of course. 
Steelers getting Cam Smith. Tyreek Stevenson, a little bit of a cornerback run here. We know the Vikings will hopefully be looking at corner in round three. <clears throat> Josh Downs, surprised he lasted until 54. Jack Campbell, Lions, they get everybody. Free agency and now in the draft. Trenton Simpson of the Giants. Chandler Zavala, wow. Interviewee, if you haven't seen it, we brought him on the show, interviewed him. Great dude, fantastic. I have never seen him this early. I, I've seen him like in round four and I've been kind of surprised, but he is getting to be a hotter name. Uh, he wasn't invited to the combine, but he is damn good. And round two, last year we interviewed Cole Strange. He went in round one when he, no one thought he would. Maybe we're the good luck charm. Chandler Zavala going in round two would definitely solidify that we are a good luck charm. So that is fantastic to see. Derek Hall, Vikings seem to be a rumor on him. All right, round three, let's get to the Vikings. Let's hopefully it's a cornerback. There's still, still some good corners on the board. Uh, Clark, okay, there was some good corners on the board. White, surprise, he lasts that long. Ringo, damn it. Ringo would have been nice. Um, but right now, I think... Top corners. Let me just look at our cornerback list here. Uh, Jalen Jones, Darius Rush would be nice. Clark from uh, from Kentucky would be nice. Bennett, even from Maryland. Riley Moss is hanging around there. Uh, Blackman from the from USC. So there's still some corners that are worth a third round pick. Michael Wilson, love him. Vikings will be pick 87. Tanner McKee gone. Marvin Mims, Ika. I think we're going to get a good cornerback here. I'm going to say Blue Kelly. Okay, there it is. Corey Trice. What the hell? Love Corey Trice. Uh, surprise it's not like Blue Kelly or Bennett. Um, but let's. we're going to talk about Corey Trice here. So Mingo goes. Darius Rush, yeah. Trice over Rush, I'm not a huge fan of. We're going to finish round three. And that is it. So Corey Trice, huge size, just like Brent's. Uh, he's like 6'3", 200 and some change. I think his 40 was actually pretty decent as well. Um, but he's just a physical, physical corner. He seems to be one of those guys. And, and Lepagus and I have talked about Trice a handful of times. We love him. Uh, round three is a little bit early. I mean, I've seen him in like more like round five. But uh, when you read about him, he seems to be that sleeper guy. A guy that could go a lot sooner than he's expected. So maybe this isn't going to be that crazy. But physical, good player um, from Purdue. And, and he kind of he's kind of one of those players that uh, only fits specific types of schemes. And he definitely fits the Vikings. And you want – they're going with size over speed. No, no doubt about it. And you get that big man in the uh, secondary. And I think he plays as a rookie. And I think he probably plays a lot, um, especially with that big size. So I don't – not horrible. Uh, I'm surprised we went him over over uh, Rush, and then Blue Kelly is still on the board as well. But I wouldn't be upset about it at all to get Jordan Addison and then Corey Trice. Um, no trades. I'd give it a. I'd give it a solid. I'd give it a solid B minus. Uh, I love Addison again. Just the Trice, I think, is a little little rich. Trade back maybe get another fourth or something. But there you have it, Michael Renner PFF. Let me know what do you think. Grade it. Remember, it's our birthday today, so I have a beer. Boom.